Hello children. Today we are going to learn about expanded notation. When we write a number, say 7234, we write it in expanded form as 7000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 4. We are writing the numeral in the expanded notation. It helps us to get a clear idea of the place and the place value of a digit in a numeral. Here, seven stands for thousand, and two stands in hundreds place, three in tens place, and four in ones place. Together, the numeral is seven thousand two hundred and thirty-four. Based on this, we are doing the exercise one point two. Now, just look into the question number one. Write the following numerals in expanded notation. One C. Seven lakh fifty thousand and seventy-eight. How do we write it in expanded notation? For easy understanding, write the places on the top of the numeral. Then it will make your work easier. That is seven lakhs plus fifty thousand plus seventy plus eight. Okay. Similarly, you will do all the sums of this question. Now moving on to question number two. Write the corresponding numbers for the following. The expanded notation is given. You are supposed to write the numeral. Let us take question number a. Three into ten lakh plus five into ten thousand plus seven into hundred plus nine, which is equal to thirty th lakhs plus fifty thousand plus seven hundred plus nine. The numeral is. Thirty lakh fifty thousand seven hundred and nine. You will finish the exercise in the similar way. Now let us move on to systems of numeration. We have mainly two systems of numeration: the Indian system of numeration and the international system of numeration. When we are in our country, we follow our Indian system of numeration. When we go outside our country, we follow the international system of numeration. So, let us learn these two system of numerations with the help of the place value chart. In Indian place value chart, we have periods and places. The periods are ones, thousands, lakhs, crores, arabs, so on. Here, we are we group the periods. Three, two, 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 so on. In ones period, we have the places ones, tens, hundreds. In thousands periods, we have the places thousands and ten thousands. Whereas in lakhs, we have lakhs and ten lakhs. In crores, we have crores and ten crores. Similarly, in arabs, we have arabs and ten arabs. And we divide, we show the places. Using commas, the periods are given giving spaces with commas. Suppose the numeral is three nine three six eight five four one. We place commas to show the periods. That is, we read the numeral we from the uh, we read the numeral as three crore ninety three lakh sixty eight thousand five hundred and forty one. Similarly, we will move on to international place value chart. Here, the periods are ones, thousands, millions, and billions. Where the places in ones are ones, tens, and hundreds. The places in thousands periods are thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. The places in millions are one million, ten million, and hundred million. Similarly, in billions, we have billion, ten billion, and hundred billions. We put commas to uh, separate the periods. Here it is; they are grouped evenly, three, three, three. So the numeral five, three, nine, three, six, eight, five, four, one is uh, read as five hundred and thirty-nine billion. Three hundred and sixty-eight. 
sorry it is 539,368,541 now there are some conversions from international system to indian system we call them as 100,000s as 1 lakh 1 million is 10 lakhs 10 million is 1 crore and 100 million is 10 crore based on this we will solve exercise 1.3. Question number 1. Write the number names for the following. You will write them neatly. Now question number 2. Write down the numerals for. Put the places on the top and put the digit and answer this. Question number 3. Mark the commas according to Indian and international system. The same numeral has to be written in both the systems. Question number 4. Write the numbers corresponding to each of the following. Question number 5. Based on the conversions, take the help of them and do how many lakhs make a million? How many millions make 5 crores? How many thousands in 4 lakhs? Now, we are going to learn how to represent whole numbers on number line. Number line and whole numbers. So, take Coming to exercise 1.4. Question number 1. Draw the number line and illustrate the statements. 2 plus 4 is 6. You will draw a number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. Then from 0 to 2 and because it is addition, we move forward. 4 steps. 2 plus 4, you will come to 6. So the answer is 6. Similarly with subtraction, because it is subtraction, you will move backwards. So 6 minus 3 is 3. You go from 0 to 6. From 6 you will take 3 steps backward. That is 6 minus 3, you will come at 3. So the answer is 3. Similarly, for multiplication, 2 into 5 is equal to 10. That, that means 2 times Jumps of 5, 0 to 5, 5 to 10. The answer is 10. The next concept is successors and predecessor. As you all are aware, successor means the next number. We get the next number by adding 1 to the given number. So you will answer question number 2 on the basis. Successor of the given numbers. You will add 1 and you will get the answer. Similarly, question number 2. 3 is predecessor. You get the predecessor of a given number by subtracting 1 from it. So, th that is question number 3. Three. Now, we move on to the next concept, exponential notation. Th that is, suppose if 8 is there, we write it as 2 into 2 into 2. That is, 2 to the power 3. 2 is written 3 times. 8 is called the third power of 2. 2 is called the base and 3 is its power. We read 2 cube as 2 raised to the power 3. 3 is also known as index or power. Exercise 1.5 is based on this exponential notation. You will answer the questions based on that. Question number 1. Express in the index form. The expanded notation is given. You are supposed to count the number number of times the given number is repeated and write it in index form. Question number 2. Write down the values of. Here it is given in index form. You are supposed to expand the given number and write its value. Question number 3. You are supposed to write the squares. Square means any number raised to the power 2. Any number raised to the power 2 is known as square. You are supposed to write 9 square. That is 9 into 9 which is equal to 81. Similarly, question number 4. Write the cubes. Cube means any number raised to the power 3. That means the given number is written 3 times. So, 2 cube which is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8. You will complete this exercise. Now, exercise 1.6. Multiple choice questions are given. They are based on the revision of the concepts which we have done before. So, please answer them. Now, 
Last important facts to remember. You will go through them and write them in your notebook. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay home.